Number nine, because it's Friday, let's kick things off with something adorable like Puerto Rican frogs. They're otherwise known as coqui. Oh, yeah, I know that from Dora the Explorer. Yeah, I know, them. Yeah, I know them from going to Puerto Rico, but that's, you know. <laughs> they are teeny tiny, and they've got short tails. Unlike most frogs, they don't have a tadpole stage. Instead, they emerge from eggs. The males stay with the eggs for several days after they hatch to protect them from any predators. Huh. Yeah, that wow. nice. And then they hightail it out of yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, number eight, you get drunk and you end up smooching with someone who isn't your type. Well, don't blame beer goggles. According to alcohol scientists, that excuse isn't a legit thing. They ask a group of men in their 20s to test the effects of booze on their love lives. The men said it had no impact on they how did. productive yeah. they found other people. Right. Yeah. They did say it gave them more confidence. What if confidence. I have anecdotal evidence that yeah. suggests yeah. otherwise, Mike? <laughs> Lots of mornings of regret. Uh, yeah. we, if we learn anything from this study, it's that beer goggles are not a thing. Liquid courage, on the other hand, definitely a thing. Mm. Read more about it in the Journal of Studies on Alcohol and Drugs. Yeah. And yes, that's a real uh, journal. Yeah. Uh, Liars. You could use that study sophomore year. <laughs> yeah. And Num junior year. Yeah. Three or four times, too. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, I had a list yesterday of foolish moves made by television executives, and one of them was for NBC canceling Baywatch. But the cancellation ended up working out really well for the show's co-creator, Douglas Schwartz. When it happened, Douglas went to his uncle for some advice. His uncle was Sherwood Schwartz, creator of the Brady Bunch and Gilligan's Island. And he said, Doug, this is the golden opportunity that you will probably never have again. Baywatch can be your Brady Bunch. Don't blow it. Go and buy back your rights. The Elder Schwartz knew about the money in foreign syndication, and that one season of Baywatch was pretty popular overseas. The joke about Hasselhoff being big in Germany is true, so that's what they all did. Schwartz and his team bought the rights for $10. Wow. $10, along with an agreement to pay the studio five grand an episode if it was successful. After 11 seasons, 125 countries and syndication that continues today, the producers have all made many tens of millions. Wow. Mm. wow. Oh, that's, that's, I didn't know the whole story mm -hmm. on that. All right, number six, here's a quick one that we just looped a bunch of times. It's gonna be fun, you ready? Whoa, look at all those, we are those wieners? Ooh, yeah, there they are. Huh. Is that how quickly hot dogs are made? Yeah. Yo, how does all that quality meat yeah, you, come out that quickly? You thought like? it was carefully prepared <laughs> by hand. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Yep. Have you ever had a hot dog? Of course I've had a hot dog. Mm. Really? It's not something I, what am I, 12 years old? I don't need to eat hot dogs for dinner Stop anymore. Stop acting like there's a crazy question. There's things you say, I would never eat that. Yeah, 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 no, I don't, I don't it. eat them. If I'm at a baseball game, I'll have one, maybe. Mm. But you know what's in those things? Yeah, no, you don't. I do. No, you no. don't. I know you it's don't. not good, but it's you are, you are no. you're like, no, lunch meat, no thank you, no way, wouldn't let my lips touch a piece of ham, boiled mm. ham, but uh, a hot dog you, you say you've had, no problem. Do you want to touch my abs? <laughs> I know you no. do. No, I do not. <laughs> and that, I wish I had a list of the times, Larry. <laughs> the amount of times Larry's harassed you on live TV? Call All right, call what's HR? the number again? Just get him I on don't, the phone. Uh, I just want to speed dial. Right. Could you imagine, like, if you worked at Target and you were like, listen, this guy, he won't stop asking me to touch his abs. I told him I don't want to touch his abs. And then, and then he said, you know what he says to me then? He says, feel my thighs. I said, I don't want to feel your thighs. Your chest. No. And he won't stop. Ten years now. Are you kidding me? Listen, she wants to know why. Yeah. That's why. Sometimes it's better why? to show than to tell. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs>
This body brought to you by Ruben Sandwich. Uh, you play. are welcome. Yeah, Mary. that's a lot of living right there. That's somebody who's having fun. Uh-huh. Uh, number five, did you know Vatican City has the world's highest crime rate? Really? They have about 1.5 crimes per citizen each year. Now, you could say this is either because it's so small, obviously, or, or despite having only 1,000 residents, most of the crimes committed in Vatican City are thefts, many of which involve pickpocketing tourists. Oh. There is no prison in Vatican City, and only one judge, so many criminals are taken into Italy. Uh, in 2007, Vatican City issued its first ever drug conviction after a man was found with cocaine in his desk at work. Huh. What do you know? Uh. Hey, number four, look at this crazy bird. Yeah, that's a bird. This is the wow. Eurasian wryneck. It's a woodpecker known for its ability to mimic a forest snake. Do yourself a favor and follow ornithologist Dr. Stanley Tang on right Instagram. Now. Wow. He is at Feather on Story. <laughs> oh, that's good. Look at that. Oh, no. Creepy. Wow. Freaky. Huh. Nature. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, wanted to know the biggest difference between Gen Z and the rest of us. Gen Z kids don't like to show their feet. There you go, Robin. They Thank like you. thick, chunky sneakers. They like Crocs with socks, and they don't care for people who show those feet in public. One high school English teacher says every time she wears sandals, she gets comments like, Miss M, the dogs are barking. Oh, Some of geez. her students even bark at her, as if to say, who let the dogs out? Let the dogs Other out. comments include, or Miss M, why are you giving out those feet pics for free? Uh, there are all sorts of hashtags on TikTok right now. Hashtags include dogs out, which show uh, videos of people who have the audacity to show their visible toes. And dog attacks when people accidentally or against their will come in contact with someone's bare feet. Hmm. Not opposed. I'm not either. I don't even like shorts. You know my feelings on that. Really? This is interesting, Patrick. Yeah. You don't, will you, when's the last time you wore if a pair I'm of shorts? If I'm working out, I'll wear shorts. If I'm just out and about, nobody wants to see a man's legs. It's like ah. that scene in The Sopranos where Carmine Lupertazzi is talking to Tony <laughs> Soprano. And yeah. He says, Don never wears shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with me. <laughs> Man legs are ugly. You, but you, I'm sure you're in great shape. You know, I, you, thank you, I know. You wouldn't uh, like a pair of those whale shorts that they wear on the North Shore no, with a little brother. belt? I mean, yeah. I can see you really. I mean, when I'm working out, don't worry, I'll throw on a pair of, fit, you know, nice little workout shorts to give the ladies a little, <laughs> you know, a little thigh hugger. A little something to the, oh, the bottom of the thigh muscle. You know, the little, you know, the two little thigh muscles? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll give them a little taste, oh, but I'm God. not, you know, that's yeah. all. That's too much. I'm not going to a picnic. <laughs> You're a teaser. That's what you are. <laughs> All right, number two, the couple who paints together stays together. If you're looking to spice things up, break out the body paint. According to relationship yeah. scientists, painting each other is a whole new way to add more intimacy. You'll just need a few things. Yeah. So that's how you and Mr. X met. <laughs> yes. And a body painting oh, convention. God, you know me so well. Paint, a partner, and a really big poster board. The three Ps. The idea is to have as much fun as you want, painting yourself oh, and each nice. other. Another idea, rolling around on the poster board. Oh, Use your fun? body as the oh, brush yeah. and the poster board as the canvas. Here's Imagine some suggesting that to your wife, Larry. Yeah. yeah. Here are some things to keep in mind. You need space to move around without getting sure, that paint all oh, over boy. the place, and you want non-toxic yeah, body paint. Of That's you do. the key. <sighs> all right. Uh, number one, this is Matthias Hellboy Schlitter. What the? A German arm wrestling phenomenon with oh one gosh. enormous arm. Oh it my seems, lord. It seems like it's photoshopped or some kind of gag, but it's not. It is real. While his left arm is normal size, Hellboy's right arm looks like Popeye's arm. What? That's because he has a rare genetic condition that makes his right forearm bone 33% wow. larger than his wow. left. Wow. His mother encouraged him to embrace it as a teenager, and he's now won more than 15 international championships, and he's got endorsement deals like this commercial for an Australian power tools company. <laughs> ich liebe meine Son Matthias. Er ist ein sehr guter Mann, aber ihm machen mir Sorgen. Nobody knows what it's like to live with unexpected power. <laughs> Growing up, I faced many challenges. 
unexpected power kept getting in the way. <laughs> Eventually I hit rock bottom. I needed to find my calling in life. <laughs> I decided to become a professional arm wrestler. I then used my unexpected power to become a world champion. My story used to be unique, but now everybody can experience the unexpected power with AEG Trade Tools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know great. what the power tools have to do with it, but it's great. fantastic. That's great. That's a 9 and 9.